let me introduce to you the bracken Tiridium aquilino the species of fern probably the most famous of all ferns it is more or less easy to recognize so you might note that that visual visible leaves are spread so I they not gather in groups which is indication of horizontal rhizome so the plant essentially spread these rhizomes all over the place and will practically colonize the vast spaces with these crawling rhizomes sometimes bracken will make the big big fields covered with leaves essentially all these leaves are the part of one giant intermediate shoot leaf organ essentially one giant leaf will colonize all this space and lower parts of it we call rhizome anyway leaves when they appear above the ground they have characteristic multi-layer approach one layer second layer third layer and if you turn them around we might see spores but very frequently in case of bracken spores are not produced this vegetative reproduction with leaf rhizome is enough to support the population of bracken for a very long time so this is well possible that it will produce for just one in several once in several years and it should be still enough to support the sexual reproduction one of very strange and interesting thing about bracken is the evident conflict between two things first of all it's one of the most poisonous ferns of the world because it contains tacrolacid so tacrolacid is a thing which is cancerogenous so one of few compounds which are proved to cause the cancer so this is dangerous i think you understand it. at the same time the young stems very characteristic fiddle heads of bracken are edible and this is a normal component of east asian cuisine in korea china and japan everybody use these young stems as a normal food so you can buy them everywhere so what's the matter so uh, it's not very unusual that poisonous plant is the same time edible the only thing is how to cook it so very fortunately the ptaculacy is dispensable soluble in the water especially in the cold water so if you soak stems in that water for the long time most likely most of this poisonous chemical will come out moreover Taquilocene is easy to destruct with the boiling water so if you boil it then you get rid of it completely so this is the key if you want to eat it never ever eat it fresh that might be properly soaked so you need to obtain some receipts of how to do it properly or to be guaranteed from any of these poisons you must boil it after boiling the content is edible so actual young stems and underground parts rhizomes of the bracken contain plenty of starch and some other useful company and this is why it is frequently used in east asian cuisine so this is a very well known species also for the reason that uh, bracken is one of you completely cosmopolitan plants moreover 
this cosmopolitan is natural one. So we frequently see in 2020 that many plants are spread out all over the earth because of human help. These species spread are all around the earth by itself. There were multiple attempts to split it in many species. But still I am going to support the view that is just one species, Pteridium aquilinum, and you see here in Japan, I am kind of in the center of Honshu Island, between Kyoto and the Japanese Sea, and you can see it in China, in Australia, in New Zealand, in New Caledonia, in North America, everywhere except Antarctic. So in Europe, everywhere, you can see that same species. Of course, there are some genetical variations, and if you very well, if you believe in a small species, you can separate them. But generally, it's just the same bracken fern with all bracken fern features. So this is it, this bracken fern, Pteridium aquilinum in Japan, and today is July 2nd. Thank you.